before showing you a very interesting table, once in the Torah, Ben David Mechake, the son of David, is waiting. Now what is interesting is little David with Yud, which normally is without, because this Yud is the letter of God, indicated the future time of Messiah, that David will have extra, extra additional light of God. Now this is what is in the book of Stephania. I have the sword nations, their strongholds are demolished, I have left the streets deserted, with no one passing through, their cities are laid waste, they are des deserted and empty. Of Jerusalem I thought, surely you will fear me and accept correction then a place of refuge would not be destroyed, nor all my punishments come upon her. But they were still eager to act corruptly in all they did. Therefore, wait for me. Amazing. Wait for me. And what the Rebbe said, God said before he <coughs> wait for me, he wanted Jews to wait for him, to do tshuva and to Wait for him, for God. But God said, you don't do, you carry on with the corruption, the decreting of the Shabbat, translating the Torah, purity of life. Then you wait for me. I waited for you, you did not come back to me. So, you have to wait. But when you wait for me, then troubles will take. For the day I will send up to testify, I have decided to assemble the nations together, the kingdoms, and to pour out my wrath of them, all my fears, eager, frightening. This is what Rebbe said. This is really description of Gog and Magog. And then comes really the end. The whole world will be consumed by the fire of my jealous eager. And then, as is written afterwards, the whole world will realize, will accept God as the God of the world. So amazingly, as you can see here, clear description of what is going on, and also what our Abbas tell us, what will happen if we will not repent from our own will, that God is waiting for us then, He is waiting for us, if we are not waiting for Him, so He's waiting for us, which means that Messiah is waiting for us to repent. And unfortunately, if we will not do it willingly, then it will be through terrible troubles, as is written here, what will, uh, will happen all over the world. So, let us see the table, which is very, very interesting. So in this table, what we see is the following. You see, once in the Torah, Ben David, Mechake, Ben David, the son of David, is waiting. Now what is interesting is that the David is written with Yud, yeah, which integrates with the future, we get an extra light of God, the letter Yud, first letter of God. Then what we see here, as we said, God is waiting. To what is waiting? That we do Tshuva, we keep the Torah. And then all the verses say, then you will inherit the land, or Hashem et Haaretz, you will settle there, the land which I gave to you, and it nachtem bas, you will have your settlement there, you will have redemption. But all this definitely, if Ushvatetem Sedek, if you judge properly according to the Torah, if you will keep the Torah, then you will have the son of Yosef, Mashiach ben Yosef, and then David will come and will save you from God. Look, it's amazing phenomena. There's a letter Dalad is after Gimal, and Dalad is after Gimal. Basically, shows that connection of David and God because David will come and destroy these people. Now, as we said again, you have here the year 5778. We hope this will be really the year that already will be after Mashiach will come. But now we are still in a threat, Yom of God. And this is what we see here, very interesting, this word of the redemption, and on the same side, God and David, 
as we said, and the most important condition for redemption of Rebbe Ushpatatem Tzedek, judge properly in justice according to the Torah. Then you will have redemption, and then you have Mashiach, the son of Jesse, who is coming really all over the table. Ben Ishai, again, son of Jesse, and Ben David will. But the most interesting, as we said, is that this exactly fits with the prophecy when God said, Now you will wait for me. I waited for you, and I waited for you. So Ben David, really, the Messiah, is waiting for us to do Chivot, to repent. Now, amazing that you have here the month of Passover. In fact, you have all Passover. In Bachotesh Arishon, the first month, Nisan, that we are now, Bachamisha, on the 15th, which is the Pesach, and this is the time when Jews came out of Egypt, and this is the time also destined for us to come out from those Mitzarim. You know, the word Mitzarim also to be Yesarim for evil inclination, evil powers. So, this is really the time, but all. If we do tshuva, if we repent, and we come back to the ways of the Torah.